Hello, uh, my name is Tasbaun Alamu. Uh, in this video, I, told, I will try to show you how to analyze RCBD trial over location with multiple traits using a fixed model. So to make, uh, to analyze uh, this data, uh, we uh, require uh, the following package, LME4, LME means table multi-comp as described in the previous uh, video. So if you don't have this, uh, package first you should install uh, from the CRAN. So after that you should load this package, this is necessary package for analysis. So the next step is you should set your working directory. So to set your working directory you can do either by giving the path and using the set working directory function or you will go to here you can search for the folder where you are interested to make it as a uh, working directory. In my case, for example, is a retraining video for post. After you open this folder, so you go to this setting icon and then you, call, you can set it as a working directory. So in this way, you, uh, you make uh, your working directory. So after you, you set your working directory, then the next step will be read the file of your interest. So in this case, for example, since we are interested to analyze multi-location trial, I will call for the data over RCVD over locations, CSV. So after that, I read it. So when I read it, uh, here the data, out, the data is uh, described here. Uh, we have the dot file name, and then we have the 120 observation with 10 variables. And then the, the preliminary step is to check for the summary of the statistics. So when you do is this is the summary of the statistics, for example, of the column, the entry, the dice to heading, the KW, and then for these traits, you will have some uh, uh, summary statistics like descriptive statistics and some any values will be shown also. The next step will be to uh, change the factor variables into factor uh, from in this case since we have rcbd over location so we'll have three uh, factors so one is the replication or block the genotype or the entry or the location degree so in this case here i will change to factor the replication <coughs> and the entry i want changing his name to the name to genotype that's why I put here entry, but I change the name as genotype since in the model I, do, I put as a genotype. So I will change to factor, and then next I will change the location to factor. After that, you will list the traits, the name of the traits. So here we have three traits, DH, TKW, and GYH. So I will list this name and save as a traits. So if you go and click the traits and run, you will find the, name, the list of uh, or the name of the traits here. And then the fourth step is you should check the structure of the data if you already uh, make a necessary changes or if you have some, uh, if, if how look like the data, uh, your data. So if you run like this, so you will get the location is factor, the rep is factor, and the genotype are factor. And those traits to be analyzed, these ones are numeric. So it is uh, in a good condition so we can uh, continue our uh, analysis so the next step is to define the model because defining the model is an interesting part because this help you to um, uh, fit to model your uh, formula in the r statistics so here our model is uh, defined the observed value each observed value is defined as a mean plus the block effect, plus the genotype effect, plus the location effect, plus the interaction effect, and the residual as it is will be uh, modeled. So this model will be used to be fitted here. So, so knowing the model is uh, the first priority so that it helps you how to model your uh, uh, data uh, in the analysis. So the next step is, after that is in order to uh, uh, prepare the MPT table or data frame in order to store your output. So this is the first one is I 
creates a new table file. This one will help me to store uh, the individual location mean output or blue. And the second one will be it helps me to store the individual, uh, the combined mean across the location. And the third one will be to save the output of the ANOVA table. Okay. And after that, uh, here I develop the R script. That R script will be helpful to do the remove the outlier, uh, doing the analysis of our location and uh, extract the ANOVA output, individual location mean, and the combined location mean and that will be generated. So the first part here is, I will, I did here is to remove the outlier first before the major analysis, first we should remove the outlier. So how can you remove the, the outlier? There are different methods uh, in the system, but in the replicator trial in the design experiment, the best way is to use our studentized uh, method. This R studentized method use the output from the ANOVA based on the model and take the residual and he calculated the based on the residual the uh, correction factors so if that output uh, the calculated output is greater than three the absolute value is if greater than three that observation will be considered as an outlier so we will uh, remove that observation from the subsequent analysis so here the first analysis will be done here and then the output here will be taken as an input for the R studentized and then the absolute value of the R studentized value greater than 3 will be considered as uh, outlier and that data point will be uh, subsetted by this indexing function which and then this output uh, uh, identifying uh, output uh, if it is uh, if, the, if we don't have any uh, outlier it means the length of this ID output will be zero so it means our uh, data will be the same as uh, uh, our new data will be the same as the, the old data but if this is the, in the uh, individual outputs are uh, or the individual output are greater than uh, the length is greater than zero it means we should remove that uh, uh, data point from the subsequent analysis. So this analysis will be further undertaken. Then in this case, the, uh, we will remove that observation from the data and save as data one. So this data one will be the one used for the subsequent analysis. That's why here, instead of data, we make it the data one as analysis input for the final analysis. So after this analysis, the output will take here to extract the ANOVA table. So the ANOVA table will be uh, extracted using this ANOVA function and save it as ANV. And then in order to uh, identify which trait is that ANOVA, I will add uh, a trait column and I use this trait name as uh, a column. If it is dice to heading, it becomes this trait will become dice to heading like that. And then uh, after that, what I did here is I only add uh, uh, the uh, column, the new column, in order to uh, uh, put the source of variation uh, in the ANOVA table. Because in this ANOVA table, uh, the source of variation like uh, genotype, location, interaction, everything is uh, considered and put as row name. So since uh, I want to make it uh, as a table, to go, so I, I, I will add the new column here. And then uh, I will add the new column, but the new column will have this name, the source of variation the name of the column and the order is genotype location a replication with a location then here the one is uh, genotype type by location and then finally the residual will be so this will be the column name, the uh, column name, so that uh, I will add as a, uh, as a column 
source of variation and I will add this information as in the column. So, and then I want to put uh, this uh, name before uh, the uh, degree of freedom column of the result ANOVA. So after that, in order to, uh, I will remove the row name because now since I added this row name uh, inside the table, I don't need the row name, so I will remove the row name. And then I store the ANOVA here as uh, ANOVA table. That this ANOVA table is the one, the MPT table I created here. The next one is uh, the individual location mean. And then in this individual location mean, what I did is, first is I do the, uh, 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 what you call the LS mean for location and genotype interaction. So after I did the LS mean, and I will add also the trait in order to identify which trait is. And finally, I will save this data as individual location mean here. Individual location mean. Wait, and then since it is a combined analysis, I want to have one mean that generate across location for each genotype. So in that case, what I did is uh, I will make uh, uh, the combined uh, analysis here uh, in comp. So after this, I will add the trait to identify which trait is, and then finally, I will save this uh, data on blooming combined that I created uh, in this uh, place, in this table. So here is the combined mean data, the combined mean data. So after since I prepare this one, so the next step is I will run for the analysis. So we'll start here. First, we should create the new table, the MPT table without any output. So now we will run the next step. Then it will now uh, it re run. And so uh, after that, we want to see the data, for example, in uh, wide formulas like genotype, uh, uh, genotype, dice to heading, dice to maturity, plantar, like that. So if you want, we use a reshape. And then under reshape, we have the, the, data, the function called decast. So here is the combined mean. So the combined mean wide, we use the combined mean. And then the uh, point will be, the formula will be genotype on the row and trait on the column. And uh, we want the aggregate using the mean function and we'll take the LS mean. So if you run this one, you will see this is uh, your output. So the genotype we have, dice to heading, grain yield, and TKW will have. This is our mean data over location. So if you are interested for each individual location, data over wide type, we can uh, uh, make the another decast value, but in this case we will take the data from blooming individual location. So this blooming individual location, we take it and then in the x-axis or in the row, we will put location plus genotype, and in the, in the uh, column inside, we will have trait. So the same thing will happen. So if you run this one and see it, now you have for each location, Bakoji, genotype, diastrating, green yield, and KW. Like that, the next will be Holeta, ta ta ta, put together. That finally, after you produce your mean, individual location, your mean, over location, and then finally, ANOVA table, and finally you want to go this all together to your Excel file in your hard disk. So in this case, what you're gonna do is, we will put all this information together in uh, one uh, output. Here, for example, what I want to put is blue mean, mean combined over location. So here, blue year mean comb uh, white, this one, so. The next one is blue 
mean individual location white so blue mean mean individual location white and the fourth one is ANOVA table so ANOVA table okay so now these three outputs blue mean white combined blue mean individual location white combined white and then finally the ANOVA table will be saved as list as output so this output will have all the information that is ANOVA table and the mean of uh, individual locations like Bokoji, Holeta, Tata and the next one is the final uh, the combined one so finally I will want this one to be saved in my computer as an Excel file and in Excel file each sheet will have each value it means since I have here three output I will have an Excel file with three sheets like blooming wide comp blooming individual location wide and then ANOVA table, I will have this. So after this, the next step is uh, load the library open XLX, which is helpful for writing uh, Excel file into uh, the computer. And then write XLSX function will be used. Then I will put this output as X because it is a, the output to be written. And then this one is the output, the file name of uh, the output to be uh, display in the computer. So here, summary, summary blue mean, and ANOVA comb over location. Okay, then XLSX is the extension is necessary. You should put the extension. Overwrite true means if you have the same name in the computer, I will overwrite it. And then in this case, I'm not interested to have the row name is false because all the data arranged have its own identification within the data frame. So I will run it. Okay, now the data is already saved. So the data I saved will have three informations here, as you see, it's summary, blooming, and ANOVA combined log XLX. So if you go there, uh, on the output and if you try to check it will show you for example let's see it how it looks like view file oh, yeah. so I will show you here here is the output we saved uh, let's go okay this is the output so the first output is that shows the genotype mean that is a blue mean combined over location for 20 genotypes the next one is uh, for uh, genotype mean over each location that's it and for each trait and the last one is the uh, uh, source of variation it is the ANOVA table that is valid for them for example uh, source of variation degree of freedom ta -ta. but here the identification is ties to heading ties to maturity uh, grain yield. so each is uh, identified so that this is our uh, uh, output of ANOVA so this is the output look like so it is really deceived so uh, I think uh, this is uh, the, our final result uh, we can uh, found in our computer so with this uh, I finished uh, uh, my analysis so uh, if you have anything can uh, in the next time can see another uh, uh, subsequent videos that clarify for your uh, information so this is all what I have for this uh, for now see you by uh, for in my next video thank you very much for your attention uh, subscribe and uh, share uh, uh, my this video in order to have uh, more audience to be seen and uh, used of it. Thank you very much.